Hey guys, so there's this new game out called Helldivers 2, I've just recently come to know about it. Uh, it's, it's quite a small indie developed game, um, it looks really cool and uh, I'm trying to capitalize on the, you know, possibility that it's gonna blow up, I will try to turn Kerbals into Helldivers. Right, so without further ado, I will try to get the drop pods working first, because they're the smallest and the easiest probably to get functioning. However, to test drop pods, we need something to get the drop pods into the air. So for that, I'm going to make the most ranky diddly do um, shuttle to get it up into space. Uh, mind you, I'm not going to make sure that the people in the shuttle are going to survive the trip back, because I can't be bothered. Right, so the thing is a bit wonky, we might have to do a little bit of fine-tuning because um, this is going to come crashing down before we can even touch the boot. However, my utter curiosity has gotten the best of me and I'm going to try to land this thing and see if the hell divers survive also we're gonna parachute one dude out and see who has a better chance of surviving it's probably gonna be the guy with a parachute but we'll see how far we get Alright, being a bit too heavy on the throttle, uh, but it seems to be working out quite well. Let's see, it's gonna fall over right now, and ah, right. No explosions, that's uh, that's actually quite a surprise. Uh, let's check out how the parachute test is doing. Okay, the parachute test is doing actually quite fine. It's gonna take him quite a while to get down there. Right, we're not gonna wait on that, let's move on. Right, so we did get into space, however the controls are a bit fucky. Um, um, anyways, the controls will figure that out later. I'm gonna start my work on the drop pod and, you know, we're just gonna you know, scroll through it real quickly, it's all boring and stuff. Anyways, let's, let's just go ahead to the launch, shall we? Yeah. No, no need for testing. Anyways, let's see how this goes. Oh, right, yes, the thrusters. <clears throat> it's, um... Yep, that's not working. Let's see how far we get. And okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got some revisions to work through, obviously. So, but, uh, you know, my solution to everything is just put more wings on it. Uh, let's see if that actually uh, helps. Well, it seems to be doing right. It's it's a bit. It's, mm. It's doing alright, it's doing alright, it's going up so far, it's uh, okay, never mind, we lost complete control. Okay, they're dead. Let's just test out the pot itself, let's see, we put some thrusters on it and it exploded. It tore itself apart, that's quite, the air brakes are still on the ground and the rest is going up into the sky. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Okay, let's give that another try. Let's see if this time the grouping is all right. Okay, we're going up, we're going up. So that seems to be going all right. Deploying the air brakes, testing them out a little bit. It has quite a lot of fuel um, for those thrusters. Doesn't really, you know, I'm starting to doubt if the thrusters were pointing that way in Helldivers. Um, however, for the sake of this test, it's working out perfectly fine. Let's see if we can land it and get some out of there. Okay. 
Okay. The landing was a bit hard. But I see a chance of it working. So we're gonna move on. Our second test. Let's see if this works out better. Let's see. Air brakes. Reverse thrusters. I feel like they're a bit weak, but... It worked perfectly fine. You see? It's, it's perfect. This works. It doesn't deploy from the top. Uh, we don't have those things in here. However, it's working, so that's great. So, as you can see, I've um, did some changes to the mothership, as you'd call it. Uh, hopefully this one actually get it into space and uh, can deploy the... What is it? Dropship? So as you can see, we kind of forgot to put someone in there, so we have to put one of the pilots of the mothership in there. Uh, this, is, this is a bit finicky. Um, Anyways, yeah, we're dropping into orbit right now. Right, let's see how this works out. Well, <clears throat> as it seems, uh, right at the moment, we um, we kind of have an issue. Um, the heat from re-entry um, is a bit too high for our craft. And our air brakes are not sufficiently braking enough. So, anyways, we're landing in the dark anyway, so it's kind of boring. Let's just... Let's fix all of this. Anyways, this Kerbal is getting into the spacecraft, and I've kind of, I've kind of made a big oopsie. Um, this is gonna be too much of a headache. So let's let's do that differently. Okay, okay, we're back into re-entry orbit. Um, is that what you call it? I have no idea, I never studied to be a spacecraft engineer. Anyways, we're returning into orbit. Uh, it seems like we didn't really fix the issue with the heat. Um, we, yeah, well, we're trying thrusters, but yeah, it's, 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 it's a bit too late to fix this issue. At least we can patch it out, so. That's something, but that's not, that's not what a hell diver does. Hell divers don't need parachutes. They either land straight into the ground, or they don't land. So let's find out again. Let's see if we can fix it by the problem the first is over. It seems to not, not be helping no flaw. I'm, you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that these thrusters are not really made for this objective. Um, we, we lost an air brake. We... yep. Well, yeah, alright, that didn't work. Let's try it again. Nope, it's not working. Well, we're gonna kind of straight. Let's see. Oh well, would you look at that? Um, it worked. But we can do better. We can do better. However, we can do better next time. Because I'm tired. I'm done with this right now. And then we also fix like, I don't know, the main ship, the mother ship. Make it more accurate, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Depends if I feel like it. 